This is Tita on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching, and this is where we analyze the biggest sentiment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa Shake. What's hey. good? What's good? <laughs> Long day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, weird day. This rain weird. is not helping matters either. Mm. Making it very gloomy and somehow. Are you sure it's somehow? It just gives you that weather for, you know? <laughs> Vibe. <laughs> what day? Mm -hmm. Oh deep. <laughs> deep. <laughs> it is, but is that the case? No, I just, I just feel it's not. It's not just been a great day, honestly. Mm. Just okay, just day. It's been, it's been all right. It's just been very, very busy, up and doing, basically. Mm. And like you said, the rain is not making it better because I've been under the um, the, rain. the rain for mm. a while now. You know, trying to get some things done. But I know that by the time I I get back home, I'll be part of the boot up gang. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, oh, congratulations <laughs> on your boot up life. Oh, done. You guys didn't get a joke on the boot up. Yeah, I did. Oh, I okay. did, but let's not go there. All a right. judge has <laughs> ruled that Kanye West is officially ineligible to appear on the 2020 election ballot in Wisconsin um, due to this registration. How many seconds? 14 again? seconds. 14 seconds. Yeah. So I think uh, it's it's an intentional sabotage on his political um, career. Why because, do you think that? Why because were they I late? don't think yeah. Why 14, couldn't they get there before 14, 5 p.m.? 14, it's 14, yeah, I get I get that mm. is arguable, but I want to put it to you that if it was somebody else with more or a better reputation he would have been there before 5 p.m but okay no agreed i'm not like i said i'm not making excuses for him but mm. i'm just saying that any other person would have it would they would let it slide no any other person would have, have been there I'm, I'm, not arguing. I'm not arguing that point but if for any reason any other person has a concrete reason but did you be the reason the judge gave that once it late, hits 5 p.m. How many times? And, times? And, and his lawyer is arguing that it is actually 5.01, that they have a grace of one extra minute, 60 seconds extra. Is the grace in the law? Why are you law? waiting? Why are you the waiting grace to... in the law that you have a grace of one minute? Well, that's what minute. we're waiting for them to respond to because if it's lawyer, that's his lawyer's defense. The lawyer is very judgely. Why is the lawyer like... It's, if I'm primary school, they used to tell you that if you are if you're five minutes early, you are on time, and if you're if you're on time, then you are late. I've never heard that before. So why would you be arguing about I, one minute or two minutes? The point is that you are late, and if you are serious about running for president of the entire country, especially with no um, history of of anything political, where you have a reputation to try and fix. I feel like the one thing you could have done is made it before five. It's not that hard. So True. I totally agree, but I still think it's a political sabotage. I'm before you it. before you decide it's a political sabotage, you have to go back in history and give us a list of people who have gotten to wherever they get you to sign or register and, and then got there in minutes they and they allowed them. Until well, you have I, that. I don't have that information, so um, you guys probably win on this and topic. That's but that's if we want to be realistic, mm. we would know. We can, I'm sure we can all see that. It's, and we're being. We don't and want this to is a political bias <laughs> on this table as well because we know it's a Kanye West. So yeah. I've always said yeah. this when it comes to um, people forming victims. <laughs> I've mentioned it many times. Make sure that you are clean before you start to bring in race or personality or perception or bias. Is that was, was your were your hands clean? It still reminds me of the girl that was claiming she was ra that the teacher was racist when this babe came to work late every true, single time. True, so true. first of all, you you are not your, your your party was made late. This is not the first time he's late to things or um, not meeting up with the deadlines in regards to either meeting the states. Um, uh, ballot day or mm. whatever. It's not the first time you're doing that. You're making evidences to the Being people consistent. who are important that you're inconsistent and you're not actually taking the thing very seriously. Okay, we will let your birthday party name slide. We will let it slide. But we it's can't not let... an issue. Why is that not an issue? How is that fair? not an issue? Is this a joke? Not an issue. So it's not a joke the now. This is not entertainment. Let's this even is... bring it back to Nigeria. I think he explained the meaning of birthday. Says, yes, he has. He, he formed this stupid thing in an interview with Charmaine, whatever. Charmaine he was the Yes, yeah. and he was joking. And his joke stuck. He was like, I don't even know what party I'm going to make it. Maybe we'll just make it a birthday party since I was there. I was born. You see, he's, he's functioning in his ego. 
He, like, feels, he, he, he feels like he's deep, but sometimes his deepness is so shallow. It's, it's, he's ridiculous it's sometimes, somehow. Sometimes. But it's okay. And it's sometimes okay. his deepness is actually But very in this deep. case, I, I don't see any bias there. And good luck to him. Right? Good luck he, to him, he, yeah. I know he's not winning anyway, but still, good luck to him. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes they should just like, we need people like this to make no, him... No, we don't. Fair. Give me one reason no, why we need to be Kanye president. West. For, to be candidates. Why? You know? One Why? reason. One. Just, just one. I don't know. Okay. Just to, to show that the they, they, they the balance. Balance. To show that there can be a joke on the ballot too, yeah? Is the current president not a joke? What are ha. we saying? Okay, moving on um, to Big Brother Niger and their <laughs> interesting fans. Um, a fan writes a novel in Erica's honor titled Erica, Queen of Hearts. I love it. Hmm. It's really cute. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you love it? It's just I don't know. I just like everything about this. It's it's such a nice idea. But she's um, such a pretty woman. Such a fine girl. Oh, I God the creates. Queen of Hearts. I like it, Jare. Go ahead, Mrs. Miller, whoever. But did you read the part that was put out on social I did do, but I didn't have a When I was reading you did finish it. No, I didn't finish it. I finished it. it. And it was giving me this this I'm screenshot yeah. actually. It was giving me this um intro to a telemundo movie yeah. vibe yeah. <laughs> i'm yeah. like okay it's actually she this lady i like to see well. what she's about to do with it this miller girl writes well i don't really for have me, you read the, her work yeah no i just i just from this particular Harper. screenshots i don't know <laughs> I, for me or for me <laughs> so this for, is definition of for, for well. me or right. personally mm. there's something about readers and tones that mm. you can't just have in, in with everyone and it's the tone in which she used to write speaks with me. As in, okay. she's the kind of writer that I can see myself flipping pages and it's easy for me to read. want to continue to read. Mm. And that's not based on if you're a good writer or not. It has to do with your tone and how you arrange your words. And for me, so that did that. works for you. Yeah, her tone works for me. I'm not, I'm not saying that what she's written now has, wow, wow, fantastic. But I like, I like the way she sounds in my head if, when I read her words. So mm. it's somebody, for me, she was like the bigger story than than Erica, than the fact that she wrote about Erica, I was like, okay, actually, I think that. she's a smart fan. She is. And I think she's, this is working, going to work well in her favor. Mm -hmm. I also like that Erica is getting all the love. I mean, she's a lovable person, regardless of what happened in the last days of her leaving the house. Um, so I would love to see how this goes. I want to read it, not because of not because i think she's a fantastic writer i don't think that way just because i want to see what she would mm. do in the body of um, this novel is she going to give us um, um a breakdown of what has happened in the big brother house and I how she so. how she sees it mm. what is this queen of hearts going from to be what about? So, from what she was saying in the interactions with the, the trend the thread that she made it seems like she's making up a story around what she has seen and watched from Big Brother Africa, it's not really a... Big Brother Niger. Big Brother Niger, sorry. It's not really a, like a... I'm describing what was happening in the house and I'm describing Erica. She's forming a story. So, first of all, you must really like what you've watched on that show to <laughs> to be inspired to want to do that. Um, but she's making a fiction out of... Oh, a fiction. Out, out of... Um, we'll see how that's why I go. That's why I go. Yeah. Personally, I'm very hard to please in every ramification of life, right? So I would like. So if to I give you food, that's, there's no, there's no hard to please there. In that you you food. know me. If I review food for you, you uh, know I can shut down the restaurant with my review. So what's yeah, what's I'm very hard to please when it comes to the. Yeah, I love food. No, no denial. <laughs> but if the food is not good to you, get bashed. It's just mm. that easy. So. Um, I'm not going to jump into conclusion about this book. It's it's a it's it's a nice gesture. I like it, but. Um, does it make sense? Not yet to me. Maybe mm. when I'm able to read the book or yeah. I'm able to get reviews or stuff like that. I'm not Why even not? Why I'm doesn't not it make sense that somebody's inspired? That, that happens on a daily basis. People even write about less because, significant um, people. Yes, that's why I said I'm hard. That's why I started with I'm very difficult to please. Erika hasn't put me in that position where I feel like she deserves a book yet. Okay, she right. doesn't strike me like someone that deserves a book yet. Right. Will she be able to do more and then she will deserve a book later? Probably, I'm not disputing that fact. But for now, does she there are more pressing issues to write about? I just want to see the delivery. Eric, I just want to see the delivery. And for me, it will now become more about the writer for me than Erica. Because like you've said, um, I, I've not seen what you're going to write about Erica. Except you are saying you are going to have a conversation with her and bring out parts of her that you we understand. do not know. So it's about the and delivery And now we're still saying Kid Wire. I'm like, you're, you're, you're just seen, repeating the whole thing. Even the yeah. snippet she tried so, to put out there mm. is the we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes but kudos to her and jumping on this one now we know that there's a writer called what miller, miller. yeah good it's one. good for you though it's good for you like sometimes Teacher. right mm -hmm. when you put things out there some people benefit and others don't so the writers probably okay. don't benefit more 
All right, moving on to the next story. Majority of Nigerian parents have failed their children by not teaching them how to handle or accept rejection honorably. It's always, quote, if I don't get this, I would rather destroy it or block way for another person, end of quote. The sense of entitlement in Nigeria is disturbing. People are walking around with undiagnosed mental and emotional disorders because of this. And this is coming from Uti Mwachuku. I think we put too much pressure on parents sometimes mm -hmm. to teach us everything and be everything and be, you know, like learn the whole entire world. Sometimes life just has to teach you. Mm. And another thing about this quote is the Nigerian factor. I think it's very human, inherently human, to not accept rejection immediate properly all the time. Um, a, a lot of people can argue that because I saw that on the on the thread as well that people were arguing. Um, that, um, what's it called, people do better at, at um, handling rejections or whatever. But I would say to those people to not get comfortable. Maybe you just haven't gotten the um, rejection that would shake your core. It is very human and very natural. I don't think or, there's anything wrong. Or, you see that you've not, like you said, you've not gotten the rejection that will shake your core. Or you've gotten too many rejections. Exactly. And it's now part of you. Yeah. And you feel like, mm, it's fine and that's a problem yeah, I, as well. I, I, I see, obviously, his, his, his core message is good in regards to, that, to the fact that you can't be entitled to anything. Life mm -hmm. is... It's really a given, and if you get, you're lucky. If you don't, you move on. And I get that, but um, the emphasis on you know our parents being sh um, what's it called less than because they didn't. I, I feel like it's a it's a it's it's such a it's a tricky thing to to put because I know for a fact that rejections and weaknesses in general has a lot to do with your your disposition, like your even your mental make and your personality and your character and your the phase in life that you're in, the period. So all of it. To, it's just hard to, to simplify it to, to the parents, I think. Yeah. All right, so for me, right, the only part of this write up that made sense to me was the final paragraph where he spoke about self in, um, um, entitlement. sense of entitlement yeah. and a lot of people m moving around with mm. mental and um, emotional mental disorders. Yeah, yeah. Right, I totally agree with that. But coming to our parents, I don't know how. That's why they say um, charity begins at home, right? Mm. So I think he's talking from the home he's ca he came from. Because mm. from my own home, my parents will be the one to reject you, not because <laughs> they don't want to give it to you, mm. or not because they cannot afford it, but because they want you to know that life is not a bed of roses. You mm. want it, you work for it. You sometimes you have to get no for you to know for them to sometimes even you know. Sometimes you work for it and you still don't get it. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. And then sometimes they also need to know how badly do you want need it. this thing? How badly do you want it? Because a lot, there's a difference between want and need. Do you mm. need it or you just want it? Do you understand? Mm. So sometimes my parents personally taught me the deepest lesson rejection. of rejection mm. where I would know I, I, I grew up in a house where we had over 10 cars right mm. and then they would still tell you want to go out with this car nobody has driven this car in months but mm. they would not give you that key they would give you the one to the deadest car mm. why because they want you to know that look you haven't earned that car you can't be going around like a Yahoo boy when you're not one. Do you understand? They will give you that kind of impression and you would know that. Mm. And those core values stuck, which is why another person's own now cannot enter my eye. But the, at this it, stage. it, it, it is understand? factual though that I've heard people, I've heard parents, I've heard children who feel like they, they run the world. Sometimes I think maybe there's an exaggerated confidence in the fact that if you don't and something, if something isn't given to you, instead of you trying to, you know, evaluate or research a dice or whatever, you get you, the immediate response is anger to want to by force conquer that thing. There mm -hmm. is quite a lot of people that are disposed that way that yeah. I've seen in this part of the world. Well, you know, people like, are saying, like... you know, when this came out, people felt it was talking about Prince because they felt every time Prince lost a task, right? Mm -hmm. so it was really sad. He, was, he wasn't going, he wasn't talking to anybody. They said the last head of our task, Ibuka brought it up the last mm -hmm. time that he went to bed by 7.30pm, you know, and he explained why that mm -hmm. he really wanted it. You know, that's a typical example to Is that a problem, sometimes. do you think? I, I don't think it's a problem. Uh, well, I, I, a lot I, of people People are making reference to it. Well, of course, people will always make reference, yeah. and it won't be, I won't be surprised if that's what he was talking about because Uti has been, if there is a commentator from Big Brother Ninja, he has been the one this period talking a lot, like he wasn't even in the reality TV show. Mm -hmm. I mean, I expect someone to have gone through something like this to kind of be reserved and understand the kind of pressure they can be on in that house. But Uti does not really care, he's talking, you know. But for me, I like that we established the fact that this is not about your parents. I mm -hmm. mean, but the second paragraph, like you said, is my own problem because a lot of people feel that they are entitled to so many things 
things and they really are not. Yeah. Mm. So um, I wish we had more time, but we have a guest and we need to go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we'll carry on. <laughs>